Torah is for everyone and yoga is for everyone. I have been practicing yoga on and off since I was actually six years old. My mom was my first yoga teacher. So it's definitely a lifelong love of mine. And about, I guess about eight to 10 years ago, I started studying some Hasidic texts, but taking kind of a neo-Hasidic slant on it. And I noticed that a lot of these mystical teachings from our own Jewish tradition really were very much in alignment with what I was doing in another part of my life in yoga. So that's what really inspired me to do this and to share my deep love of both of these traditions with the Jewish people. Uh, Meet Hari, our amazing yoga teacher, takes us through some asanas, some poses, some physical poses. Amit and I have worked together ahead of time to make sure that everything we do in the asanas and the physical poses is a reflection of what we're going to be talking and learning about that day. So I offer a teaching from a Jewish text. Then we do some more asanas, some more poses, and we end in a relaxing pose and come out of that with song, sometimes with a teaching, sometimes with a poem, always with song and always ending with Havdalah. A lot of Jewish people go searching for these mystical traditions. And a lot of Jewish people end up going to the East toward Buddhism, toward yoga practices, to find some of these mystical traditions. One of the tragedies of the Holocaust, actually, is that much of these mystical teachings were being carried out in Eastern Europe by Hasidic teachers. And that chain of tradition was cut off in the Holocaust and many of these teachings were lost for a time. They're being brought back through a lot of places and they're coming into spaces like, like our space at Wilshire Boulevard Temple where we apply a little bit of a different lens because we are bringing a more egalitarian approach to some of these teachings. But they exist very, very deeply within our Jewish tradition. So I think that sometimes people go directly toward some of these Eastern traditions, leaving behind their own Jewish tradition, when in fact they can live very, very happily side by side. Whether or not you have physical limitations, you should definitely feel welcome to come and try it out and see if it works for you. Thank you.